untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Pack one, pick one. We've got a couple options. We could be the baddies and draft a mill deck with Ashiok, which, you know, can be quite effective and limited. What else? Could try to go aggressive Monorad with Light Up the Stage. Uh, Thassa's Oracle could be an interesting alternate win condition as well. So, there's a, a few options, but those are kind of the cards that speak to me the most. Felidar Retreat could also be okay. Yeah, maybe we'll try to be the baddies and then take Ashiok, try and get some other mill cards like the crab. See how good it actually is. So what are some other mill cards in the cube? We've got Patient Rebuilding, Ruin Cramp, Sword of Body and Mind, Ashiok, Teferi Studelage. This pack has... Field of the Dead is powerful. Definitely worth building around. So that speaks to me. Uh, Brazen Borrower and Barrel's Expertise speak to me as well. Both would be fine alongside our Ashok mill plan. Yeah, Field of the Dead is probably not compatible with Ashok. So I'm leaning one of the blue cards and between Expertise and Borrower, it's close. I think I'm leaning Expertise, weirdly enough. Just because it's kind of a pseudo-sweeper in case we're not in sweeper colors. It just buys us so much time, especially if we can then put something like an Ashok or Tutelage in play for free. And we're not really interested in a creature that can block. Ooh, nice third pick Ruin Crab. So we might be doing it. Also want some fetch lands to go with it, Evolving Wilds, Fabled Passage. Brainstorm could be reasonable. Anything else could go with Heartless Act to pick up some removal. Although Brainstorm plus the Fairy Studelage would be pretty insane if we can pull it off. So it's between those two, most likely. I guess Ojutai's Command could also be okay, getting back our crab. Taking Brainstorm has the advantage of keeping us in blue. Plus, we want to pick up Fetch Lands anyway for Rune Crab, or Shuffle Effects. So, those also go well with our Brainstorm. And Field of Ruin is actually not a bad one. It gives us an extra land drop for Rune Crab, Shuffle Effect for Brainstorm. Otherwise, Sensor would be quite good too. So it is between those two. I think I'm leaning Field of Ruin. We're probably going to end up with enough playables that just having a good mana base is nice. Watery Grave also an option in case we end up blue-black. Although, could also take a Settler Wreckage and go blue-white at this point. So, yeah, there's a lot of options. Given that I'm not sure if I'm white or black, I'll probably just take the Field of Ruin. Glasspool Mimic can copy Ruin Crab. Saloon Division doesn't find any of our enchantments or planeswalkers. So it's either Mimic or Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce can be okay. There's definitely some powerful non creature spells like enchantments and planeswalkers that we can counter with it. But it does lose value rather quickly. I like the Mimic. Maybe we'll get to copy a crab. And I'll take a castle over Thrix, since there's no real convincing author cards in the pack. Of course, the removal deemable Dragonfire could be fine. But blue red's typically not a mill combination. Although getting all these red cards late might be a sign that red is open and we should go into red just to pick up some removal. How often are we going to activate Castle Ventress? I'll take a Dragonfire. 
Ooh, wow. The Ferris Tutelage eighth pick, so we're definitely the only mill players at the table. So now we're doing it. Uh, Thassa's Oracle, probably not gonna make it. But yeah, I guess maybe Mythos can copy Tutelage or Ashok. I guess Ashok's not very helpful, but can copy Tutelage or Crab. All right, so, so far we're basically mono blue. And we've got all the cards we could have hoped for so far. Cramp, Tutelage, Ashok, even have Brainstorm to go with Tutelage. So we're looking for more cheap card draw effects, we're looking for a bit of interaction, which we're currently lacking. And then, I guess like a patient rebuilding could still be good. Yeah, Borrower's fine. Can pressure Planeswalkers, not going to be a Field of the Dead deck. But uh, yeah, surprise that Field of the Dead is still in the pack. Don't think this matters. Yeah, blue seems open, definitely. And at the very least, the mill archetype. So if there's any more mill cards, Available, we should be getting them. Even wield the sensor, that's great. Wow. Um, think I'm leaning spell pierce. Vision just doesn't hit any of our important cards. Wow, last big castle. Well, if we could pick and choose what cards we wield. We pretty much got all of them. Epiphany's nice, especially with Tutelage and Ashiok, if we can keep those around. Side Coming would also be good, but I kind of have a soft spot for Epiphany. And we might wield the Counterspell anyway. All right, so now we have a good case for a red card. Dragon's also good, but we don't care about dealing for damage. Murfolk Looter is actually also quite good with Teferi's Tutelage. Yeah, it's probably still worth it over speculating on Electrolyze. But uh, Electrolyze would be nice. There's a Triumph too, or Fetid Pools in case we want to play a second color. It is pretty likely that we do wheel Murfolk Looter, but Blue Rats also seemed open, so we might just wheel the Electrolyze as well. So I'll just take the card we're going to play for sure. Crippling Fear as a sweeper could also be serviceable. But um, that does commit us pretty heavily to black. Yeah, close call. But Looter I'm definitely going to play in this deck. And then next up, Illuminations. A nice one. Simulacrum. Probably not a late claim deck. But uh, yeah, Illuminations. Nice and flexible. Simulacrum just gives us a chum blocker to maybe protect Ashiok. And additional mana is always useful. Yeah, we'll probably wield the illumination, is my guess. Yep, Simulacrum also triggers Ruin Crab. And it also shuffles for Brainstorm, so that's also a nice combo. Got a few options here too. Inscription, flexible, can use it as a way to bounce some creatures and buy time. Or it can be a card draw spell. Seems slightly better than Thirst, even though Thirst could be okay too. Probably not going to be discarding any enchantments. Helm of the Host with Crab. It's a little bit overkill. If Crab survives, we're probably doing fine. Waker of Waves, I guess it's just a 2-mana pseudo card effect. It doesn't actually trigger Tutelage, since it doesn't draw cards, just puts them in our hand. Probably not casting this for only one half. Keruga might be okay. Yeah, I guess it triggers off Tutelage, Ashiok, and Solemn. Yeah, so 
We're looking for maybe a few cheap bounce spells or counter spells now. The fairy to go with the fairy's tutelage or actual factual counter spell. There's even a maze mind tome. Just all the cards. I mean, it's got to be counter spell over to fairy still. But the fairy would have been nice. It might be a bit too late to wheel any cards. Bubble snare I'll take. One mana removal spell. Alright, more options. I think I'm happy being mono blue at this point. Also doesn't actually draw. But we do have the flexibility of Haka. Although Charter Course seems kind of great. Two mana, trigger tutelage twice. Filter through the deck. Don't have a ton of two drops. And there's a counter spell on the wheel. Expel from Oraska also would have been fine. We wield all the cards we were talking about. At this point it doesn't look like I'm playing a second color. Maybe take the Triome just in case. Could still play Triome just in a mono blue deck as a way to cycle it later. I'll take an Illumination. Although if we just play the land for cycling purposes, the Feathered Pool cycles for two mana instead of three. But uh, I don't know, probably not going to play either. Arch is I'm guessing going to be too slow to activate in this deck since we don't put out a ton of permanence. But I might play Thirst. Alright, so we still have an entire pack left to make our deck better. Blue is just wide open. And Silent Departure looks kind of great. One mana bounce spell, five mana flash it back, just buys us more time to set up our shenanigans. Could also cast this for just double blue as a removal spell. Although, kind of thinking it might wheel. Yeah, I mean, we could play Waker of Waves. It's potentially an option, but we're not going to be short on playables. Hoo-hoo, patient rebuilding and Jace. I mean, we can realistically get both. Question is, which one is more likely to wheel? Which one do we take now? I mean, if we're mono blue, it feels like Jace is kind of the card we are most incentivized to have in our deck, but it's probably also the card that's most likely to wheel, just because it's triple blue, so not many decks can cast it. So, take the rebuilding. Memory Lapse would also be okay, since we can potentially mill the card that we put back. So that's also consideration, but both of these are pretty much the two cards we want the most out of the entire cube. So I think I still rebuilding, hope to wheel Jace. Although if memory lapse wheels instead, I wouldn't be too sad. Think twice is nice. Scarab God would have been pretty nice if we won blue black. Tesseret feels a bit slow. Omen, I suppose, has a bit of synergy with Baral's expertise. And I guess also synergy with Thirsts. Maybe it is better. Don't have cards like Augur of Bolas that want me to have Think Twice. Sure. Compulsive Research, yes please. Cold Steel Hearts would also be fine. <laughs> Just getting everything here, commit memory. Although I'm kind of liking Guardian Isle too as a way to ramp into our rebuilding. Shark Typhoon. And Athasa's Intervention would also be great additions. 
We're not interested in attacking with the Sharks, so it's basically make a Chum Blocking Flyer draw card versus potential interaction, although it doesn't trigger Tutelage where Shark Typhoon does. So maybe a preferred Typhoon, give us a bit of a board presence too. And who knows, maybe we'll hard cast it. Baral's perfect. Wouldn't mind wheeling Jace, wouldn't mind wheeling Commit Memory. I'll take the Augur Bolas over Treasure Map, I think. And then now I kind of want to wheel the Think Twice too, but we'll see. It's going to be hard to make cuts in this deck. Warrant Warden. Yeah, don't even know if I'll end up playing it, but we're not splashing at this point. Memory Lapse wield, so we didn't wield Jace, unfortunately. I think we'll be fine. Think twice wield. Alright, no Jace. I think I would have preferred Jace over Patient Rebuilding if I could choose, but Rebuilding is more difficult to remove. Alright, so we'll start making some cuts, I suppose. Sailor, Spell Pierce. I guess we could technically cast the blue Planeswalker, but don't think we are playing it. This is basically a land. I don't actually think we're playing Brazen Borrower, strangely enough. Since we can't find it with Augur of Bolas, we're not really interested in the 3-1 flyer. So it's kind of like... Uh, it is instant speed, so that's the upside over a card like Silent Departure, but... Alright, I'll play the Intervention probably. Illumination we can cycle for one mana. Probably not playing Keruga or Waker of Waves. Yeah, not too many creatures. So we're going to be soft to aggressive decks, that's for sure. Let's see, this is 46. I like the Bubble Snare. Even though a lot of creatures have utility so they'll still be kind of annoying potentially, even if they're tamped down. Omen might be cuttable. Thirst is nice because it's instant speed. And it is kind of a package with Omen. This is still fine as a two mana removal spell. This is more of a three or four drop. This we can cycle for one. Are we playing Mythos? It's great with Tutelage. It's pretty great with Patient Rebuilding. Uh, otherwise it's not doing a whole lot. Yeah, the upside of Thirst too is that it's something we find with Augur and get a cost reduction with Baral, as opposed to Omen. Although I guess Mythos is nice for the same reasons. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I think 16 plus a Mimic is fine. We have a lot of card draw. Maybe I do need Guardian Idol since we ended up with a decent number of 2-drops. The reason I still like Thirst is, first off, it's an instant, so we can keep it up alongside our counter spells. Um, and second, like we're kind of like a combo deck which needs to find its key cards like Ashiok, Patient Rebuilding, Teferi Studelich, and Crab. Um, so just digging deep for those cards is important, even if it's not actual card advantage. And then once we do have Studelich in play, draw three is pretty strong. Maybe we can cut the Merfolk Looter. Since we already have Charter Course and a lot of card draw. It is good with Tutelage, but just want to keep as many 
instants and sorceries as possible for Augur too, and to get a discount with Baral. All right, so we're down to three cuts. Maybe I do need Shark Typhoon, although it is an enchantment for Thirst for Meaning. So that's kind of a combo. Don't know if we're going to be making any enormous shark tokens. But yeah, it's always an okay card. All right, so the one drops are staying. Don't think we're cutting anything. Bubble Snare also is something we can discard to Thirst. So we have a few enchantments. Then at two mana, I think we need the interaction. These are all pretty good. Charter course is maybe negotiable. These all seem pretty great. Interventions may be negotiable since it doesn't technically draw. I think inscription's too important to have interaction. Mythos is maybe too cute, but it's kind of a fun card. And then the rest probably stays. All right, I guess we found our three cuts. Oh yeah, we're gonna get crushed by any sort of mono-red, mono-white aggressive deck. All right, this hand I can get behind. Probably still playing the Crab on turn one. So we can keep up Sensor or Cyclers. Hey, Demonic, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very much appreciate it. All right, put in some sort of five color monstrosity. Are we censoring something? Kind of want to cycle too to hit my land drop. And then the question is, do I double cycle? Do I think twice? Probably think twice. Tempting to Ashok, but I think I should keep up my interaction since we also get to flashback think twice. I'm also fine with counter with sensor and cycle illumination since we have inscription and compulsive research as more expensive card draw. So just wanna hit my land drops. Midnight clock, wow. The anti-mill technology now. Good news is Ashok exiles their graveyard, so at least that helps against Midnight Clock. Now if they have a counterspell for Ashok, we're gonna be sad. Opponents down to 17 cards already. Oh yeah, this is uh, probably game over here. Unless their opponents go to Thassa's Oracle somewhere. Uh, what do I discard? Embarrassment of Riches. Inscription, maybe? Does it really matter? It doesn't feel like our opponents are Thassa's Oracle deck. So seven cards left. I'll keep up sensor. And next turn we can finish them off. I can even let them draw with research to kill them next turn without letting them untap. Mythos, sure, you can have it. 
can even attack my Ashok. Two cards left, so I can mill them with Ashok. And you get to draw. The opponent even had to discard two cards before they exploded just to rub salt in the wound. All right, so this hand doesn't do anything. But yeah, without a mill engine, we're just kind of spinning our wheels. Right, this is way better. Cramp to lands warrants. Any of these three cards could go. Might want to cycle Typhoon for zero. And I think I'm going to need the card draw from Inscription, so bottom the expertise. Ho oh, oh, ho, it's the mill mirror. Okay, well, probably won't be attacking much. Alright, so now here, here's a power move. We attack with Ruin Crab in the hopes that our opponent does the same so we can warrant it. Uh, attack me with a cramp. You know you want to. Alright, so do we cycle Typhoon or Illumination? Probably Typhoon. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna keep attacking. And I hope they do the same. And next turn we can start drawing. Gotta find Ashok tutelage. Maybe patient rebuilding. Alright, since they're keeping up mana, I will Illumination end of turn, because they're keeping up counters here. Milled the Tutelage already. Alright, at least we got one more activation out of it. Don't really have a way to kill the opponent's crab. Best bet is to mill it by bouncing it. Oof, Gonti is rough. Ashok's gone. Opponent can find one of my mill engines, which would be a disaster. They didn't instantly take anything, so maybe that's good news. Alright, we maybe have a shot here with rebuilding. Baralus, the card they stole. Could have been worse. Oh, now they attack with a crab. I see. I see how it is. So Tutelage is probably not resolving. But what's my play if I don't play Tutelage? I mean, I can draw a bunch of cards end of turn, but it's also helping the opponent mill us. 
could bounce Baral and Cramp, but it's still the opponent's Cramp, so it's not really doing much. I don't think that's effective bait. So I probably still play the Tutelage and then hope they don't have a counter spell somehow. Alright. Ten cards left. Mill the opponents rebuilding and Teferi. So I guess we'll pass and then maybe Thirst end of turn. It's gonna be close here. Might come down to what we mill with rebuilding. Seven cards left. Sure. I guess I can bounce the crab now. Might be worth it. Could have also prevented one mill by bouncing my own barrel, which would go back on our deck. Okay. My own brainstorm would be pretty strong here if we still have it. No, it's already in the graveyard. Departure can bounce my own barrel. Not that it matters a ton. So I have six cards, the opponent has nine cards. So let's say I draw three. I mill six. And then I draw with think twice. Then opponent's down to one card. I mean, opponent doesn't have a mill engine in play anymore. And we might draw into another card draw spell. Like compulsive research. Yeah, I guess bouncing Baral first. Let's see, I can play it. Yeah, I guess it's still worth it. Since I can play Baral and replay everything. If they have an Essence Scatter, maybe that's bad. Don't know if Scatter's in the cube. Right, opponent's gonna Doomblade it, sure. Is there a reason to main phase this? Because now I can draw into Compulsive Research and cast it. So might as well wait. Because we ended up cutting Chart, of course, so I don't think I have a draw 2 effect that would kill the opponent on the spot. Fibblethip. So now I could, in response, Thirst and Think Twice and kill them. And yeah, maybe Think Twice first, see if they have a response. I mean, even if I Thirst... I'm not necessarily dead if they don't have their own mill effect. Alright, are they dead? Hey, Fibblethip won us the game. <laughs> nice. That was a close one. Definitely got lucky to draw the rebuilding and the tutelage not getting countered. Alrighty, what do we think of this? Not great. No shuffle for Brainstorm. I think we could have just aggressively mulligan more in this deck. And yeah, this is better. Is this finally a hand where we keep Solemn? Baral's pretty nice giving us discounts for Think Twice and Research, which can help me hit my land drops. And then gotta keep rebuilding. Alright, goodbye Solemn. Poor Solemn never gets cast. Don't really want to discard lands with research.
Burl's dead. Uh, land is still good. I guess we think twice end of turn. Could also research and discard two non-land cards. Nah. This also represents a counter spell, so they might play around it. Alright, could be scary. Death touch. Sensor, I probably got a cycle here. No, auger. It's probably fine. Can even bounce it later with expertise. So hopefully no hexproof on crystalline giant. Plus one counter. Happy if they attack. Come on, land five. Okay, arena. That's deal. There's land five. There's patient rebuilding. And sure, I'll attack. So now we've got the Wombo Combo of Expertise into Research. And then I am considering bouncing my own Augur too. No Hexproof. Who? Alright, Expertise into Tutelage instead. And, uh, yeah, this is looking good. What do I discard? They're also good. Maybe Augur. Keep land to discard to research and departure is cheap interaction. Yeah, sure. And then do I play the land or do I keep it? Four, five. I don't have a ton of four drops I need to necessarily cast next turn. So I'm probably fine holding it, just in case I don't draw more. Yeah, rebuilding plus tutelage is a deadly combo, especially against a color pair that typically doesn't have many ways of removing enchantments. Although, there they go again with Feed the Swarm. Okay. Well, still have our tutelage at least. And then, probably fine flashing back, think twice. Take four. Massacre Worm, sure. Ooh, a thirst for meaning. Is her opponent just dead here? Kind of feels like it. So I can uh, thirst. Hmm. see. Might want this as a zero mana cycler. Or two mana cycler, I should say. Yeah, that should seal the deal.
Oh, that actually triggers a worm. That's interesting. Because you still make the shark. Yeah, that's cool. Because you never think of actually a shark entering the battlefield. But uh, I guess it does. Alright, uh, yep. Yeah. Pass the turn. Brainstorm. Pretty nice too with tutelage in play. Sweet. This hand's pretty medium. This is better. So our, our hand's good at protecting Ashok with Departure Bubble Snare. Probably don't need Shark Typhoon. So our plan is get an early Ashok in play and hopefully protect it. Uh-oh. Think I still brawl. I mean, technically this blocks. All right. Show me what you got. Did they just want a treasure? All right, chariot. It's not great for me. Probably have to depart one of the tokens. And then we can mill the ooze. If I can depart a token, then they don't have a token to copy with chariots. So maybe that's still better than trying to get an Ashok in play here and then falling behind on board. And then my flashback card's gone, so the Ooze can't exile it. Making good use of Baral's discount. Okay. A land would be useful. They can crew chariot by eating their own creature. They don't. Alright, let's go for rebuilding then. Alternative is Ashok Keep of Warrant, which is also reasonable. Yeah, let's go with Ashok. Warranting the chariot's still fine, because we can just, you know, mill the chariots. So they probably missed out on a 4 damage attack last turn. Alright, so opponent is playing black, so they might be missing a color here. We're gonna crew chariot copy the 1-1. One, one. Yep. And then we can mill the chariots. And at this point I'm fine chomping with Baral, if that means an extra Ashok activation, but if they attack with all, Ashok is gone anyway. But now we've got a second mill engine. We're still at 20, so don't hate my chances. If it's just ooze attacking, I'll chump. I 
All right, now Solemn's potentially good, especially with a Rune Crab. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Could also copy the crab first. Yeah, it seems better than doing it the other way. Milieu for six. Exile everything and next turn Solemn finds another land to mill once again. Don't really need Ashok anymore. Alright, that takes care of one of my things, but we still have some other things. So if we draw lands, double crab kills them. Maybe should have cast Think Twice first. Let's go full control. Mm, it's too late. Yeah, I wanted to cast Think Twice first, that way we're more likely to draw lands since there's more lands in the deck. But that's fine. Probably better off to keep up a counter spell here, since we're nowhere close to dead on board. Yeah, like, I could try and kill them now. Although there might be like a crazy card that kills me, although I can't really think of any. Just keep up sod coming. And then our opponent packs it in. Sweet. Alright, we've got two Lich Inner Opener. And looks great. Question is, turn two, do we keep up Sensor? Do we foretell Sod coming? I feel like we just keep up Sensor. Opponent passes, so we get punished by actual factual counterspell or by an opposing sensor. Don't know if negates in the cube. I'm gonna go for it. Alright, actual factual counterspell. Yeah, just waiting until they have three mana opens up way more counterspell possibilities. Oh man, imagine if they tapped out for Baral. Instead, this game would have been easy mode. Alright, it's gonna be hard mode now. So... What's the play? Fortel Sod coming pass. Alright, time for Augur. I wonder if killing the thicket's good or bad for us. They probably have a forest in there. So we'll keep that for maybe a Rune Crab interaction. Alright, that's the first miss from Augur. It's been pretty good for us so far. Hardcast Brazen Borrower. Sh 
pressure. Can replay my auger, bounce the 4-4. Four, four. Not that bad. Oh, they didn't bounce the auger. Alright, fair enough. Got laps and sod coming available. Can flashback think twice. Probably hang on to thirst until we draw like a bubble snare we don't need, although I think we put one on the bottom with auger. Yeah. Alright, Gargroth. Laps. Would be great to pick up a mill card right now. Could also shuffle their deck with Field of Rune if we don't want them redrawing it. And then think twice end of turn. Well, we're out of counter spells now. So if they've got a big scary card, we could be in trouble. That's fine. Finds Supreme Will. Conditional counter spell. Still happy hitting my land drops, I think. Can Illumination pay for Supreme Will now? I mean, I'm not going to win with damage. Probably better off playing defense instead of getting in for one damage. Opponent just cycles Supreme Will. Have enough mana to draw into a counter spell and cast it too. All right, just need to find one of our mill cards. Recovers the Hydra. And if they cast it, will Illumination response Don't mind if our opponent casts memory. Alright, Ashok also prevents the Hydra from searching. Probably should keep some lands in hand now for both Crab and Thirst discard fodder. That'll exile memory as well. Alright. So now Ashok gives us a win condition. Hydra just a large creature we can chum block and bounce with departure. And Epiphany is awesome. Let's see if this resolves. It does. And then Bubble Snare we can discard to Thirst. So the Shuffle from Field of Ruin put that back. 
station rebuilding is awesome. Sure. And next turn they should be dead. Can have a look at what else they were playing. So they had Field of the Dead, which is what they wanted to find with Hydra. Sure, we'll jump. can target the opponent with research. All right, Sublime Epiphany to counter it, sure. Two cards left. Well, would have been easy mode with a turn three tutelage, but we got there in hard mode too. Alrighty. Hand is promising. Probably play a tapped mimic. Turn to Augur. Take it from there. Turn one mountain, scary. <laughs> well, we faced three turn two Magdas this uh, draft. Although we've had a blocker for two of them, sadly tutelage on the bottom is uh, unfortunate. First strike. Okay, Baral, let's just keep up memory lapse, so that's pretty nice. So we have a good start, even though Augur was not too kind to us. Demon bolts. Yeah, I would rather not. Okay. Hmm. Probably want to keep expertise. Can even bounce my own auger. And then play it. Field of Ruin could still be useful later with a crab. Don't think it hurts to discard island. Right, no hexproof, that's good. Wombo combo. And this time we hit. Alright, so I'm guessing Baral's gonna be toast soon. Although if they spend their turn killing Baral, we're not too upset. Get to play rebuilding, and then untap with a wall of counter spells. Field of Rune can answer Crawling Barons. Alright, and they just replay their creatures. Lifelink we don't care about. I think it's still rebuilding over Ashok keep up counter spell. Or is it? Close call. I think we do still rebuild. Because I need to draw into some creature interaction too. Augur is fine chum blocking. Yeah, with Barrel in play, we get to draw discard with our counter spells too, so that's nice. 
so hopefully this turn isn't too bad. Flying is annoying, but could have been worse. One foretells Demon Bolts, which I think Demon Bolt also targets Planeswalkers, if I'm not mistaken. Sensor. Soak up an attack from the Giant, maybe. Yeah, if we can find one of our bounce effects before it gets hex proof, we might be alright. And then the question is do we protect Ashok with a counter? I don't think we do. I would rather keep my counter spells to kill any threats. Alright, that's fine. Can still cast two mana counter spell here. Hopefully, Asha gets at least one more activation. They could animate a Crawling Baron's attack with all on Ashok, maybe. That's fine. Then we'll cycle Sensor end of turn. Alright, that is probably worth countering. No hexproof or plus one counter is good. And that's a trade I'll make any day. Alright, if we find any piece of interaction we should be in great shape. And there we go. I think we got this now. The part of giants. And then probably just keep up Saw It coming. And then if they animate Barons, I feel the Vrune instead, so I can't really afford to foretell anything. Could cycle Sensor, I suppose. Yeah, I wouldn't mind hitting my Land Drop for Epiphany. Not sure. They might have enough mana to play Giant and Barons. Opponent's just going face. Yeah, we'll still field the rune, I think. Or we can wait, counter. Yeah, I'll take two. And then if they don't cast the giants, we can do something else. Pyromancer, I'm still okay countering. Deals two to Ashok, too. Alrighty. Points down to six cards. And I have a lot of options. Pretty safe to just Epiphany, Fortel, so we're guaranteed to cast it next turn. I can feel over in the lands and Crystal and Giant doesn't really matter anymore. Yep. No searching allowed. And we can even think twice. Four cards left. But our opponent's already dead. Alright, sweet. 
got to seven wins and we beat a uh, monored in the finals so yeah two successful drives today blue black control mono blue mill so yeah blue's pretty strong in the cube counter spell definitely a powerful addition for that archetype all right i think that's gonna wrap things up for today's stream yeah want to thank everyone for watching hope you enjoyed and as always have a nice day I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.